CNC cutting plywood. Welcome to episode four of CNC Router Beginner to Pro. There are three awesome tips I'm gonna have for you. Number one is how not to cut into your spoil board. Number two is how to precisely set Z0. And number three is how to set up a Z safe height so that you don't break off your bit running into your clamp. So instead of just showing you all the theory on some test cuts, I thought we're gonna build something together and we're gonna cut out all of these parts here to make a standing desk converter. So it's a piece that goes on top of your desk. If you have a lot of laptop work, um, then you get a relief from sitting all day. So I browsed the internet for some inspiration, made a quick mock-up for the angles in involved and then came up with my own design. So this material is half inch thick. It is Baltic birch plywood. Baltic birch is great because it has a lot of layers and the layers are so that there are no voids in between them. So there are no holes if the end face of the project shows. So it makes it look nice. Also because of all of these layers, it contains way more glue inside and that actually makes it a bit more abrasive to your router bit. Okay, here comes tip number one. You will see me setting up Z0 on top of the spoil board today. And the reason is twofold. For one, I don't want to cut into the spoil board. And second is that that is actually in the industry the preferred method. If we set up Z0 on top of the workpiece and we have a G code, a file that we go back to multiple times because we crank out some jobs, then the material thickness will ultimately change the depth of cut or the depth of cut will not change, but the material thickness changes. And therefore, if it's bigger, you're gonna have an onion skin left, obviously, at the back of your product. So let's say this is 12 millimeter thick and you cut through that, great. But with the next batch of material, you're gonna set Z0 on top, but this is now 12.2 millimeter thick from the next batch. Well, you have 0.2 millimeter of onion skin on your cutout to deal with on the back of the plywood, and that's just a pain. So set, setting up Z0 on top of the spoil board, the variation now of the material will grow to the top. The, your product will never see that. You will always cut all the way through. So this could not be any easier. All you have to do is make sure your tabletop is clean. Place the gauge right you're going to come down and measure and then I'm going to select my z-axis step is right now one millimeter and approach the touch surface after the first touch I will go ahead and go down to 0.1 millimeter my goal now is to go or be one increment shy of zero you see right now I am on zero I don't want to be one on zero that is uh, 1,000 inches or about 25 microns in metric. So two and a half hundredths of a millimeter will be one increment. And that's what I want to be right there. And now this is not Z0. Obviously we have a height here, our bit is up here and our table is right here. So the block here is an imperial block. So it's two inches or 50.8 millimeter. So now what I will do is I'm going to set the Z height to exactly 50.8. So I'd like to interrupt you for a sec and say that for one there is a file download available on my webpage. If you'd like to build this you can also download the VCAR file that has all of the toolpaths already in it. And then second is that please leave me a like if you get some value out of this. YouTube puts all my content into a black hole and nobody's going to see it. And that is just frustrating for me. So if you find value, leave me a like, please. Thank you. And here comes tip number two. I'm gonna use some tape, but not to glue anything down, but I'm gonna use it as a spacer. The thickness of the tape is 0.1 millimeter. So if I put some strips down on the spoil board, I basically prop up the project by 0.1 millimeter. And if you set up the Z axis precisely uh, to zero, or let's say, to stay about, let's say, 200 above your spoil board, then you're gonna split this tape in half and the spoil board will not be touched. So to set Z0 so precise that we can split the tape, I use this tool setter here from Charis. 
And there are two versions of this available. One is in Imperial, so it's 50.8 or two inches millimeter tall. And then there's one that's 50 millimeter tall. Now, what I love about this is that past the zero point, there is more gift. So there is like another millimeter or so. Um, so if you go down with your tool, you touch set and you are off a little bit, then you can make a readjustment. You're not touching a hard surface that would break your bit. Next is that this thing is really accurate. I have set probably five or seven years already and I would buy this today again. I did find it also on Amazon now. Um, you can get it directly from Shars or you can get it from Amazon. I'm gonna leave you a link below. So once you have your material clamped down, the first thing I'd like you to do is measure the heights of your clamp. And we will set a value for that in VCarve. On the very top of the toolpath page, there's a material setup. It's gonna give two important values, the Z clearance. So hit the setup button. You can go through the initial settings that you did in the beginning of the project. Z0 is gonna be set to the machine bed. The rapid Z gap above material. That is the important value right here. So the clearance for Z is going to be 30 millimeter. That's the measurement of my clamp. So there's also a plunge speed or a plunge dimension. We're gonna set that to three millimeter. That's where the plunge speed starts. The home position I leave at zero and the gap above the material, 30 millimeter again, so that we don't run in our clamp. For this project, I need both edges of the plywood to look good. And there is really only one choice of tool or of bit right here, and that is a compression bit. The compression bit uh, marries two geometries in one, and that is a downcut bit and an upcut bit. So you have the downcut bit on the top portion of the plywood and the upcut bit on the bottom, and that will ultimately make both of the surfaces look good. So using this bit, there are a couple of things to watch out for. Number one is that when you plunge down, you wanna go so far down that you always engage the downcut portion of the bit. That is usually one time the diameter of the tool. So for a quarter inch, quarter inch uh, cut depths, and for an eighth of an inch bit, one eighth of an inch plunge. Now I always like to get past that a little bit. I give it like two tenths of a millimeter more. So I would be for a quarter inch at 6.5 millimeter and for an eighth inch, maybe at 3.5 millimeter. The next one is it is just not made for cutting deep holes. So if you just want to plunge down and make a hole, this is not the right tool because all of the chips are going to get packed down into the hole and they're not coming out. And that is one of the drawbacks actually of this tool, the chip evacuation. I have quite a bit of the Amana tools, also with the Spectra coating, but if you're a beginner, I found these eight inch bits right here at Amazon. They are made by a supplier called Hodsley. Hodsley, I think I say that right. And they're an eight inch. They come in a pack of four for 20 something dollars. I have yet to use up the first one or wear it out. I have made several projects with it. I really can recommend these. And I also can, as a beginner, recommend the eighth inch tool. It is very versatile. And if you cut half inch, it will uh, be a beast actually. You can cut the entire material thickness in one pass. I don't recommend you do that, but the tool will do it. Here you can see a nice clean cut from the downcut portion of the bit. And here in comparison, if I make a shallow pocket where only the upcut is 
engaged. So this would be like cutting with a regular upcut bit, not a good result. So my wife and I actually used this uh, already uh, several times and enjoyed having it. Um, it. The project came out really good, I think. Um, like I mentioned already, if you're up for building your own, you can download the file. And one more plug, leave me a like. Okay, I'm going to catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.